How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews back with a uh, little homebrew action um, from upstate New York in the form of Sarah Lane Brewing's Merry Little Christmas 2015 version. Um, yeah, Winter Spice Dale brought to me by my buddy George. He went upstate to visit some friends. And one of his friends has a little, um, little big homebrew operation up there called, and he calls it, a, like I said, Sarah. Street or Sarah Lane, sorry, not Sarah Street. Sarah Lane Brewing Company and uh, brought back a bottle. He said, Review this for me, so I'm gonna do that. Uh, as far as what it says in a bottle, it says Sarah Lane Brewing Company, crafted and brewed in Endicott, New York. Uh, Merry Little Christmas 2015, 6.9% um, ABV, 42 IBUs, holiday ale spice with vanilla, anise, cinnamon, and ginger. Um, that's pretty much it. Label wise, it looks like his kids sitting around a tree playing with a train, or maybe a picture of when he was a kid. I do not know. Otherwise, label's kind of cool. I mean, it's it's very um, very uh, uh, market ready kind of labeling. Then you got a nice little tab on the neck here. Label's cool. I dig it. Let's see what she's got. Nice like this. The pour there. Ooh, a lot of spice, a lot of ginger so far. Um, let's see, uh, half a f pinky finger, this, like, off-white head, it's like a, like the, uh, sometimes I get, uh, I've said, uh, in pre previous reviews, I get, like, kind of, a, like, an alien gray kind of head, that's kind of what I'm getting from this, a bit of grayness to it, maybe subtle tannish to it, um, pretty compact bubbles, okay, creaminess, and, I mean, it's pretty dark, it looks like, uh, you know, it looks like a, a winter warmer style color, a little bit darker than a winter warmer, you know, reddish, Mahogany hues in there, but you gotta kind of peek towards the edges to get them. So, so yeah, she looks like a holiday ale. Let's see if she smells like one. Ginger, a ton of like mixture of how do I put it? You mix brown sugar and cinnamon together, and then caramelize that to the point where it is actually just a skosh beyond or before being burnt it's a very uh cooked kind of mixture of um that cinnamon and that, that kind of brown sugar um with a ton of ginger and a bit bit of anise going on very spice heavy <sighs> really having a hard time kind of getting any kind of beerness out of it it's pretty much all spices on the nose so yeah she smells like a spice tail, let's put it that way. Let's see what she tastes like. Cheers. Pretty much what you get in the nose is you get in the mouth. A hefty, hefty ton of spices. Ginger leading the way. For me, that kind of almost burnt brown sugar cinnamon mixture going on in there with um, anise leading up the rear. Um, which sounds kind of funny to say, anise leading up the rear. And, um, but, um, again, the anise is huge. So it's just, those other spices are just that much bigger. Um, really not much beer there. Um, it's fluid. I can taste, I'm drinking a beer. It kind of has a beer kind of mouthfeel, but kind of having a hard time kind of picking the beer out of it, the ale out of it, whatever kind of beer it is. Because the spices are too huge. And that's pretty much it. Um, and that's it. Either the beer needs to be much, much, much bigger, or you need the, the spices in this beer need to be dialed back because other than that, you're, it's kind of like you're drinking a liquid Christmas cookie. Um, a spiced ginger, um, cinnamon anise cookie is kind of the vibe I'm getting off of it. Um, and it'd be kind of hard for me to finish this whole bottle. So it's not, it's not negative brewing flavors that I'm getting out of this. It's just way too much spice. So yeah, that's what I'm getting out of this beer. Just way too spice heavy. So much so that I can't really even talk about it being a beer because there's so much spice going on it. So there you go. Um, let's talk about it briefly. Is it one of the better beers I've had? No, because that spice is just too big. Would I buy it again? It's homebrew, didn't buy it. Um, and it's just a matter of, it's just too big uh, spice-wise. It's a, kind of the... Um, kind of the uh, good warning to homebrewers. Sometimes it's nice to put spices in your beer, especially if you're going with spice 
um, leaning styles like a winter warmer Belgian-y kind of Christmas ale, but spices are real easy for um, to get away from you if you use too much of them. That's kind of like a, what this is a lesson in. Um, so yeah, there you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Uh, if you did or you didn't, somewhere in between, please leave a comment in the comment section below. And like, subscribe, and all that fun, fun stuff. Uh, if you want to check us out anywhere else on the internet, you can. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Untapped, Massive Beers, and all four of those places. And uh, yeah, another review down. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a nice winter-style beer right now. And um, hopefully see you next time. Cheers.